Right now, some 60,000 aid workers are in the quake zone working to find survivors as the window to do so rapidly comes to a close. This is an area of 180,000 square kilometers. The death toll now stands above 15,000 and expected to continue to rise. And the WHO says 23 million people have been affected by these earthquakes. Almost 400,000 people have taken refuge in government shelters or hotels. Turkish authorities have been evacuating the injured to hospitals in Istanbul and Ankara, and aid from the around the world continues to pour in. But the window to find survivors is closing, and the number of lives saved from the rubble remains stubbornly at just over 8,000. What we really need to see is international solidarity. There's been lots of progressive um, commitments from the international community when it comes to funding, to search and rescue, to equipment. But what we're not seeing on the ground right now as we're about to enter, say, day, day four, is that actually materializing at the scale needed and at the pace needed to make sure that more lives are not lost needlessly. Yesterday, President Erdogan addressed the growing criticism of his government's handling of the crisis, saying that there is no way to plan for a disaster like this one. But questions are being raised about the lack of equipment, access, and personnel, plus the scale of damage to buildings that many say were not built to code. What we're seeing very evident right now is that a lot of the buildings just sheerly weren't up to be able to withstand these kind of tremors. Um, they happened at the worst time, you know, when people were in their beds, when they were sleeping, when, when most people were indoors. And so, yeah, just the sheer scale of devastation, I think absolutely anyone would be struggling um, to be able to reach everyone in need right now. Meantime, it looks as if access to Twitter, TikTok, and other social media sites has now been restored. CEO Elon Musk tweeting overnight that the Turkish government has assured him the services would be back online within hours. For CNBC Business News in Istanbul, I'm Hadley Gamble.